so Republican lawmakers in Texas passed a bill allowing cops to uh, arrest undocumented migrants, which it's already illegal to be undocumented in the United States, but it's not illegal to come to the United States requesting asylum. The United States has to process the asylum claims, but I guess Texas doesn't care about that. Uh, though what this bill is going to do is going to allow the cops to uh, racially discriminate against people that are brown. Uh, bills like these always allow for racial discrimination, and a lot of Americans are going to get caught up and deported because uh, with bills like these, cops don't care if you're uh, American or not. If you're brown, you're not from the United States. It hurts us to our core. And y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't live in our skin. Tonight, Democratic lawmakers in Texas outraged as the state's Republican legislators pushed through a controversial border security agenda with a set of new bills tackling illegal immigration. My community is being attacked. Houston Democrat Representative Armando Wally voicing his frustration over House Bill 4, which makes it a state crime to enter the U.S. illegally and allows local police in Texas to arrest undocumented individuals and take them to a port of entry, forcing them into Mexico. Y'all don't Though it is not illegal to enter the United States and request asylum, once somebody requests asylum, uh, the government has to process that claim to see if it's valid and then give them asylum if it is valid. Understand the that y'all do hurts our community. The bill advancing to the Republican majority Senate now one step closer to becoming a law. Some critics arguing the move puts U.S. citizens at risk of unintended arrests based on racial profiling. It's assuming that individuals are from Mexico. Um, that's absolutely ignorant because we know we have immigrants from all over the world. But Republicans say it's necessary action as the number of migrants crossing the southern border hits new records. This year, the Department of Homeland Security reporting there's already been nearly two and a half million encounters at the U.S.-Mexico land border. It's the federal government. Okay, but that doesn't mean how many people have entered into the United States. An encounter can just mean a border patrol uh, uh, found people trying to enter and sent them away like does, does that count as them entering into the united states no but again if these people are requesting asylum cops have to allow them in much responsibility to secure our southern border and they've refused to do that so it's left for us to deal with, and that's what we're going to do. Republican state legislators also passing a bill that expands state human smuggling laws by imposing a 10-year mandatory sentence in most cases. Additionally, another bill would allocate $1.5 billion to build new sections of a border wall. If signed into law, these bills would be the latest political drama between Texas and President Biden. <laughs> On Tuesday, the Lone Star State sued the Biden administration trying to stop federal agents from cutting razor wire barriers at the border, which a state trooper said in a leaked email was injuring immigrants attempting to cross the Rio Grande. This you think for Texas being such a hardcore right wing state full of Christians who, you know, care about their neighbors and want to protect kids would, you know, care about kids trying to you know get away from violence from their own nation but because these kids are brown right wingers in texas hate them as governor abbott continues busing thousands of migrants to cities like chicago and new york a new york city spokesperson confirming to nbc news a free one-way plane ticket out of the city is now being offered to migrants hoping to free up space in an overwhelmed shelter system it is not if people will be sleeping on the streets it's when and how about you just uh take houses from these corporate these companies that have bought up houses and allow people to live in them there's plenty of houses in new york city
Angus joins us now from the Telemundo studios in Miami. Quad, going back to Texas, what's Governor Abbott saying about those controversial bills? Well, Gabe, Governor Abbott called for a special session, and that's the session in which the legislators approve of that bill. So, of course, he also shared a statement saying they intended the state to pass laws that would mirror federal immigration laws because he says the Biden administration isn't doing their job. So this is part of the Republican agenda, part of Greg Abbott's agenda. So, of course, once this gets uh, through the Senate, both the uh, House, it is expected that he will sign the law. But then the question is, Gabe, will this then stand up in court if the Biden administration decides to sue the state of Texas? Because, as we know, immigration laws are supposed to be enforced by the federal government and not by the states.